Hello everyone and welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. I have been waiting for this game to come onto the Switch for so long. I've been wanting to play it for so long. And then it came out like five days ago and I didn't know and I was like, how did I not know? <laughs> um, so we'll get into this straight away. Auto save, thank you. Thank you for playing Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. Follow us. Ooh. Listen to the music. This music is a bit more like mysterious and experienced, I don't know, than the first one is. The first one's like hardcore, <laughs> like ah, stressed. I don't know why I like this game, these like this type of game, but it just like it makes my it makes my heart beat so fast and it's like I don't know how I can survive playing it. I also don't know how anyone can play this game like and speak at the same time. <laughs> and speak at the same time, like cause I'm like mega focused, so I apologize if I get really boring if that's just me trying to freaking play the game properly. What's the story? I know all I know is that this is like supposed to be directly after the events of Cooks of Delicious 2. The year is 2041, and the United States is reeling from war. But that hasn't stopped business from booming. Welcome to Tasteville recently opened its 1000th restaurant. Chili Bowl bought a small island in the Pacific. <laughs> and Max Wieners continues to be in and out of various ventures. And as for Cook, Serve, Delicious, well, it continues to be regarded as the finest restaurant in the world. Hell yeah. Until it was destroyed 20 minutes ago. <laughs> no, my beautiful, my, my beautiful restaurant. Easy on the brakes, Whisk. Sorry, Cleaver. This old hunk of junk needs some love and care. Jeez, look at this place. Do you think anyone made it? Only one way to find out. Hmm. Hey, Cleaver! I think I found a survivor! Give me a hand! On my way! Alright. One, two, three, lift! Holy crap, is that the chef from Cook Serve Delicious? I'm such a big fan! Chef. <laughs> I'm like unconscious. They're just like these robots. Fine. Just some minor scrapes and brain hemorrhaging. But your restaurant is Oh yeah, just minor. It's gone. I'm I'm How sorry. Survive is the question. Cleaver! Um a word with you in private. What? What if we give Chef our truck and offer to help? You could be a guardian, and I could be the driver. Well, it would be nice to work with living people for a change. Alright then, it's settled. Okay, well I didn't like hey, agree Chef! To <laughs> Here it is! Cook, serve, delicious, yes. Oh, I love it. I love the names of Cleaver and Whisk. So good. One year later. Delicious. <laughs> this is the music that I wanted. Chef University route. Uh, welcome to Cooks of Delicious 3. Let's learn the fundamentals of cooking in the food truck as we barrel down the highway at intense speeds. Good luck, chef. Oh, Good to get, are we heading to it straight away? <laughs> oh, that's like a huge race. Okay, welcome, chef. Before we get to the first stop, let's make some food in this food truck. I'll press B. Press left slash right to highlight a holding station. Press X to select it. Go away, big speed. Gosh, my friend, I don't understand. Uh, yep. Oh, like that, okay. Wait. Press left or right? Oh, like that. I was confused for a second. Okay, okay. Select this one. Today's menu board tells us how- I thought it meant left and right triggers for some reason. Um, today's menu board tells us how many orders of each food people will want at the next stop. Uh, let's start preparing some foods. So, we need 12 altogether, apparently. To select food prep- food prep. Use the menu board. Okay, I, I'll get. I think I'll get the hang of it as I go along. Z L X. Classic pretzel is. Oh, whoops. Below the food prep is the recipe of the order we need to prepare. It lists the ingredients in, in needed to make a perfect order. Yeah, so classic is X. Place ingredients that are needed by the recipe by holding down X Z L and pressing the corresponding button. Once you place the pretzel, let go of Z L and press B to cook. B to cook. Okay, now the order is in the holding, holding station. Once it's finished, it'll be ready to serve to customers. And let's make a few more batches. So I can just hold like that. Uh, classic pretzel. B. 
Oh, it's been a while since I've played Cook Settles just because this is going to take a, a while for me to get get used to it, I think. Okay, cool. I don't need more than that, right? We're arriving at the next stop. You'll need to serve our customers their hot pretzels as soon as they come in. Can I press press like that? Okay. And then up and down for the Y. Yep. Okay. How do I check my how many like things I need? Nope, that's not it. This one. Also, that like once I've made them all as well, I'll say that I've got zero needed now. Ooh. Press up and down to highlight and select the order served. Did I just press Y? Yep. <laughs> like that. Awesome. <laughs> just mashed Y. Thank you, Whisk. Uh, some orders are special orders that must be made individually instead of in a batch in the holding station. Select the order when it comes up to the prep station. Oh, okay. Uh, why? Oop, I'm not in the Y. I'm not in the right section. Waffle, close. Uh, I can just leave that for leave that to go for now. You've completed the order and it's in the waffle island. Wait until the order is finished cooking. Uh, when it starts to flash, we'll need to pull out the, pull it out pull it out of the iron. Yeah, I get that. I need to probably make probably need to make some more pretzels. Oh no, okay. Never mind. This is just the tutorial. I don't need to prepare ahead of time apparently. <laughs> uh, I don't need to dip the cone. So a two vanilla, and that's it. Good job. Make sure the holding. Uh, make sure. Oh, let's make sure the. <laughs> Can't even read. No, I'm not ready. Do I need to make more pretzels? Shit. <laughs> uh, I should make more pretzels. German. Uh, pretzel. Okay, cool. Uh, you can also call whisk and cleaver to help serve orders. Flick the right stick in any direction to get them to order serve and to order serve all orders that are ready. Flick it in any direction. That's interesting. Right stick. Huh, okay. Not what I was expecting. Okay, I've got 12 pretzels coming. Go. Send them out. Send them out now. They're coming, they're coming, I swear. Okay, easy. Great work. Try doing this on the next stop on your own. Holding, uh, open up the holding station to prepare foods or take the special orders as they appear. Yeah, cool. I should probably make the more pretzels first. Uh, classic. Uh, German. Uh, German. And more. Uh, pretzel. Uh, German. Uh, waffle. Uh, why? Whoops. <laughs> okay, this is gonna. I probably shouldn't have done them so fast because I don't remember. I don't remember what the ice creams are. <laughs> ah. Uh, mint and cookie. Uh, dip. Cookie dough is AA. Uh, sherb. Sherb is YY on the right side. Waffle. Waffle. We only serve ice cream and pretzels. Need more. Uh, you are mint. Mint cookie. Rocky Road was X cookie. <laughs> uh, chocolate praline. Chocolate praline. Uh, flick it in any direction. Oh, I need to make some more pretzels as well, I think. Uh, pretzel, German. German. Yeah, need to make more. <laughs> Just still getting used to this again. The rest of the thing is pretty yeah helpful as well, but like when when you're when you're thinking about it too much, like I even forget to just hit the right the right stick to send them out. I need more shit. Uh, apologies, that must be it. Where do we keep all these pretzels when they're when we're waiting for them? Is what I wonder. <laughs> There's a lot of pretzels we're selling. Okay, and they got sent away. Perfect stuff completed. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's so satisfying getting that gold medal. Run? Impressive. I mean, it wasn't that difficult, but yes, the, making the ice creams was kind of slow. It's because I don't remember where, which which section each ice cream is in. So I feel like it'd be better to play this on PC, but I don't have a PC, so I was excited for this to come on the Switch. But it's like it's hard because you have to remember which side is which, what what is on which side because you have to use L to hold the stuff on the one side, and then you use X. You like you use X B X Y A B. To you to select, and then you have to, and then you, if you want the, if you want the stuff on the right side, then you have to press right, then you have to press uh, Z R. So it's just like, oh god, there's just lots, lots to think about. Simple solids. Children turns on infinite patience. Oh, okay, yeah. In terms of in terms of food truck attacks, food truck attacks. <laughs> you can only earn up. Uh, you can only earn up to silver medal in this mode. Yeah. Well, no, we don't want silver. We want gold. 
Uh, before we start the day, we'll need to fill out today's menu. I've analyzed our route, 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 and potential customers to select the best foods for the job. Select any slot to get started. What was that? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, here? Yeah? Okay. And I could just get to choose what I want. Hmm. Keep adding foods to your menu until all until you have filled all out all the slots there. Um, I think it, t it tells me if it's in able to be in the holding station as well. So I don't know what to choose. Um, I think at this point it doesn't matter right now. So Coke, Coke sisters, a sticky sweet pastry made of fried dough. Am I gonna read the whole entire thing? Yeah, okay. Let's let's do it. <laughs> uh, the Coke. Quack is, is what it's called. Quack Sister is a South African treat, not to be mistaken for the version that was appropriated by the Dutch. Quack Sisters feature a golden crunchy crust and a liquid syrup center. Mmm, unlike, unlike the rock hard, over sugared Dutch version. While the word Quack Sister comes from the Dutch word koek, meaning cake, uh, that is that is the extent to which the Dutch people or culture should <laughs> ever be spoken of in relation to the Quack Sister. Uh, anyone caught up with the Dutch Quack Sister is reported to the US Bureau of Food Misconduct immediately <laughs> in accordance with the Food Dignity Act of 2038. <laughs> Love it. Do I get to practice as well? How do you make this one? That's cool that you get to practice it before you actually... It's a holding station one, isn't it? Uh, wait, no. Oh, I've already started it. Never mind. Can I put it in holding station? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's literally just that. How do I serve it though? Do I have to put the syrup on it or something? Cause it's like, even if you can put it in the holding station, you still have to might, you still might have to make it afterwards. Oh no, you just send it like that. Okay. Or should I go with a theme? I don't know. Let's just add to the menu. Add to menu. Hmm, pig's blood. <laughs> Love it. Uh, cinnamon buns? Ooh, what's this? Blanc mung? Blanc? Blanc mang? I don't know. <laughs> Mange? Mang? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a British dessert with a name derived from old French words meaning white food. The blanc uh, is just that. I'm going to say it like that. Uh, sure, there's technically more words that could be used to describe uh, the blank, but it's long storied history uh, dating back. But it, uh, and it's long storied history back, uh, dating back as far as the medieval Europe. But really, the name itself says all, all that needs to be said about this white food. Blanc is white and it is, about, and it is food. You can eat it or you can admire its lack of colour <laughs> until it begins to go bad. After which it will no longer be white as much as it will be disgusting pile of mould. Is it just a... This is not a holding station one. Let's practice it. Oh, oh no, it is. Wait, well, I'm confused. Cornstarch, almonds, sugar, whipped cream, milk, mix. Is that it? Oh, that was... Oh, it's like that too. Mm. Is it always the same as well? I think it looks like that's the same thing. Okay, uh, I'll put that on as well. That seems fun to do. Keeps my fingers busy. Uh, this one? Oh, not that. This one. Um, and then I need one more thing. Soup, falafel. I'm going with the dessert theme right now, it seems like. Let's do like cinnamon buns or something. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that's a lot of writing. <laughs> uh, I... You know what? I'm going with the theme of actually reading them each time I choose them. So let's let's go with that. Cinnamon buns, also known as cinnamon rolls, cinnamon swirls, and cinnamon snails, are the common breakfast food in North America and Northern Europe. While not much is known about the origins of the cinnamon bun, much was written about it in the years leading up to the Blue War of 2025. After Delaware native uh, Lionel B. Hoover's famous 20, 2023 presidential campaign speech in Connecticut compared to compared the uh, the United States trajectory to that of a cinnamon bun. <laughs> unless uh, unless something radical is done about the current state of the nation, Hoover said, I fear that we as a nation may continue to spiral inward like a cinnamon bun, which could lead to a lead to a war like <laughs> war unlike one we've ever seen seen on this fine American soil. We owe it to ourselves and and to our children and our children to do better. Now I'm not saying cinnamon buns aren't delicious because they are. I'm saying that their shape is so <laughs> what is very similar to uh to that of our nation's current trajectory. It's a spiral, you see. I'm trying to say that we're spiraling out of, out of control like a cinnamon bun. I'm not saying that we should outlaw cinnamon buns. Modern historians speculate that it is the speech that ultimately lost Lionel B. Hoover the, 20 oh, the 2024 presidential election as it became widely misunderstood that his top priority if elected president would to be the ban the creation of and sale of cinnamon buds, which <laughs> oh god, uh, which which the people strongly opposed. <laughs> poor poor dude, he lost his election because he he just he didn't support the cinnamon buns, raw cinnamon. 
Is that literally it? Is that all I have to do? Oops, I didn't mean to do it like that. Oh yeah, no. So that, that's literally it. Okay. Yep, let's do that. Um, oops. Add. Nope. That's not toggle stats. Add. Is that it? Oh, I, know that I need to put all these ones as well too. Okay. Crab legs. Mmm, grilled cheese. What's a jerk chicken? Jack chicken is chicken rubbed with hot spice mix. In the mid mid seventeenth 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 century, early settlers to Jamaica were terrorized by uh, by an enraged chicken known as known only by the name of Phil. Initially seen as merely a nuisance, Phil's behavior escalated, and before long he began terrorizing settlers by s stealing feed, scaring animals, and attacking children. Oh no! Uh, after a particularly noteworthy incident where Phil was accused of arson. <laughs> what? Uh, a curfew was put in place to protect the locals from its from the renegade bird. Eventually, Phil was apprehended and charged with 12 counts of larceny, 15 counts of battery, and 2 counts of obstructing justice. Phil was sentenced to death, <gasps> and in a, in a particularly bloodthirsty display of mob justice, his remains were covered in allspice and pepper and eaten. Oh my gosh. Today, Jack Chicken is said to remember, <laughs> said to remember Phil's reign of, of, of terror. Oh my god. <laughs> We'll always remember Phil. <laughs> Phil the chick. Chicken green mix. Chicken green mix. Chicken green mix. <laughs> Just I'm gonna keep gonna keep doing that until until one of them's done. Chicken green mix. I should know all of them have it. Yeah, green chili. That's also easy. Let's put this on. Let's put Phil on the menu. <laughs> let's fill. Marshmallow squares? Ooh! Uh, on seven, on the November 17th, 1983, or 30, sorry, th 38 is what I should say, in the wake of the introduction of the Fair Labor Standards Act, Chuck Steele, a farmer for Battle Creek Breakfast, noticed something unusual. The company's dairy cattle had stopped producing milk, believing it was no mere coincidence that the lack of milk uh, coincided with the awkward, oh, awake, oh, sorry, awakened labor movement. Steele concluded that the cow cows must have stopped producing milk as a form of protest against their poor working conditions and non-existent non pay. <laughs> uh, horrified, Steele informed his supervisors who became just as distressed as he was, unwilling to compensate the cows for, his, for their labour. The company feared that the lack of fresh milk would spell the end of the breakfast cereal sales. Okay. As such, Battle, Breakfa uh, Battle Creek Breakfast set to work developing new ways to consume cereal, and after long sleepless nights, the company's R&D department unveiled the newest invention, Marshmallow Squares, which could be made with the co uh, company's signature cereal, along with melted marshmallows and margarine. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Mysterious, uh, mysteriously, the cattle began producing milk again after- <laughs> What? After the uh, truck still remembered to feed them. Oh, uh, of course, there we go. Battle Creek Breakfast were, <laughs> were not only delighted that the cows had apparently ended their protest, but they uh, had done so without agreeing to any demands whatsoever. As such, the company began mass producing marshmallow squares alongside the traditional cereal and milk, so as to double their profits, leaving the cattle with nothing. <laughs> um, give your cattle the, the, um, what's the word, what's the word, the, the things that deserve, the support, that the, the treatment they deserve. Mmm, marshmallow squares. Crispy bits? Yeah, guys, okay, so that, 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 I think they all just get sent straight away as long as I've cooked them. Add to the menu and let's also do grilled cheese. I freaking love grilled cheese. Initially made popular in the US during the Great Depression, grilled cheese sandwiches are a reminder that, that abject poverty can produce delicious results. Many restaurants began serving gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches with artisanal bread and cheeses in the, tw in the, tw in the 2010s. So, <laughs> 2010s? <laughs> um, this trend was interrupted uh, in 2025 after California, the nation's top dairy producing state, became an ir irida became an ir irritated there we go, uh, wasteland as a result of the Blue War. Uh, the burden of the dairy products then transferred to Wisconsin, which responded uh, by moting itself off to protect the cheese. Oh no, not the cheese. Mm, I love grilled cheese so good. Oh, I'm feeling real hungry now. That's the only problem with this game is that it makes me feel so hungry. Bread, oh wait, so butter, bread, butter at the top, add the cheese, bread, butter, cook. Okay, that's literally it. So I just have to... Fingers gotta move so fast. <laughs> I love how quick I can do it. They position the keys in a way that it's easy for you to just slide your hand over them. Okay. Oh, and add grilled cheese. 
Okay, sorry that took so long. I just had to read everything because they're actually really interesting. <laughs> also some ghosts. Let's uh, begin the begin day to load up the food truck and head on out. Good luck, good luck today, Chef. Thank you. I'll do my best. I've already forgotten everything that I chose, but I think I'll be all right. <laughs> Uh, Chef University Route Day Two Standard Mode. After a, after a day is complete, all your funds will be transferred to Crumcoin into Crumcoin, the leading cryptocurrency for all food purchases. The amount of dollars it takes to buy one CC is noted in the exchange rate below your cash earned. Uh, so I need eighteen CC, eighteen dollars to wait. I'm confused. Uh, uh, the amount of dollars. Yeah, okay. Any funds left over after buying it, uh, buying CC is automatically carried over by the, to the next day. Hello, Chef. Okay. Good luck today. Thank you. I'm nervous. I also love like everything's uh oh fuck I'm stuffed it up already. <laughs> already stuffing things up. And uh, I actually need to check how much I need. Oh good. Um you need some marshmallow. It's good that some it doesn't actually like the buttons don't show up sometimes as in like you have to do it in order specifically so that it means that I don't stuff it up. Uh, there we go. For example, the Y didn't come up until I pressed, uh, the A didn't come up until I pressed Y because for some reason it didn't register that I pressed it. <laughs> just me getting slightly angry there. <laughs> just like, ugh, work please. Oh, the cinnamon buns are going bad really quickly so I shouldn't do anything too quick as well. Because look, it's almost pretty much done. Yep, bad already. Mmm, okay. So I need, I need to make sure that I check how long things are lasting before I uh, do stuff. Dun, dun. That's so satisfying to watch. Ah. Uh. Oh, sorry. Go. <laughs> I had to press Y. I was pressing A before I was press send it and it wasn't going. I'm like, why? <laughs> Thank you. So, two cinnamon buns. Oh, sorry. Four cinnamon buns, six Coke, Coke sisters. Cinnamon bun. Actually, wait. I probably shouldn't have done this so early. Wait, no. They're, they're actually coming up quite, quite soon. I need to do another Coke sisters. Ah, oh, I need to do these already. Oh my god, so slow. Okay. I feel like it's better to focus on prep the, the food stations rather than uh, everything else. And then you can just flick R and it'll be all good. <laughs> and done. Man, it's so satisfying seeing them all go so quickly. Approaching final stop. Uh, how many do I need? Six. I'm gonna have to start them all again. Oh shit, get, get into my thing! <laughs> Buttons! I might get rid of that to make more. Gonna make these. Okay, cool. Okay, I think I'm all good for now. How many? I need to make more color sisters and stuff later as well. Oh, okay, I can do this. <laughs> I love the music, kind of gets a bit more intense when you pack that. That's all good. Okay, um, my fruit is going bad so quickly, I should have. It's okay, we're arriving. It's okay, it's okay, we're arriving. It's okay. Come on, come on. It also, I love that uh, the thing, like, the thing, uh, go. Oh god, cinnamon buns. Um, okay, uh, I need to make some more of this. The Blanc. Skin that. Uh, how many more do I need? Some more of everything. Send. Send. Uh, Coexisters. Thank you. The building is coming right now. Oh, I thought I needed more. Maybe I'm I'm math wrong. <laughs> so I didn't need as many cinnamon buns as I thought. Oh, is it because I oh, maybe I underestimated. I, I think I didn't think about how much that actually makes. It makes eight, so I probably didn't need to think about. It. Probably didn't need to make extra. It's okay. Oh wow, chef! I'm he even I'm speechless, Cleaver. I'm not. I could talk forever about how great of a job you did, chef. Please don't. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting, does it, um, no. A lot of interesting addition to this game would be, like, um, deducting points if you, like, wasted food, like, a lot of food. 
because there I probably would have lost some points. Like I, I made a whole a whole new batch of like cinnamon buns, but then I didn't even use them, sort of thing. Um, let's try finish this stop. I think stand mode. Thank you. What foods? This menu has a three point uh, requirement. You will need to purchase some high level foods. Buy and place at least three at least three tier one foods on your menu. The number on the top right of each food indicates their tier difficulty. Okay. Oh, whoops. I always press button, wrong buttons. The food, uh, the more food, uh, the more a food costs, there we go, the harder it will be to make. But you'll also earn more money and experience. Oh, okay. Tier two and up. Hmm. Let's, let's, uh, go with some tier stuff. Ooh, I remember, I remember doing sopadillas in the first game. Hmm, sopadilla. Uh, sop, uh, sop, sop is what it is. Uh, for some reason I keep calling, calling them sopadillas. <laughs> Just switch the P, just switch the D around a bit. Sopapillas are originally invented by Juan Manuel uh, Le Lassa, Le Lesser, uh, a young entrepreneur with nothing but nothing to his name except for a knowledge of Mexican cuisine, a dream, and a commercial deep fryer. At the time, several uni United States food industries were attempting to push deep fried chicken and French fries into Mexican into the Mexican market. This troubled uh, Lassa as he had a deep sense of pride in his country's food culture. He immediately set out to create, uh, create a food that would combine the traditional flavors of Mexican cuisine with a high ca uh, caloric appeal of deep fried food in an effort to keep Mexican tradition strong against the in incoming American fried food trend. Fried food, fried food trend. <laughs> uh, after years of failed attempts, Lisa managed to invent a sopapillas. The... Uh, and market them as a uh, food with traditional Mexican sensibilities and a modern twist. Uh, much to his relief, his plan worked and Super Pillars not only became a staple in Mexican culture, but even began to spread into the United States. Oh, I had to purchase it as well, okay. How much money do I have? Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yes, please. Oh, okay, now I understand. I actually have to buy it as well. Oh, those are like the American donuts. Jale jalebi? Jal uh, I'm sorry, I I'm butchering all these names. Mmm, the banana. Ooh, egg rolls. Oh, everything looks just so delicious. Mmm, I don't know. Ooh, dango. Hanami dango is a seasonal variation of dango that is made to celebrate the flowering season of sakura trees. Since the floods of 20 2030 rubs these cherry blossoms of their native, ha native land, uh, hanami dango uh, exploded into popularity as as it quickly became symbolic for, of the beautiful nature and, and history lost forever, forever to the ocean. In, 20, uh, in 2040, a deep ocean expedition led by James K. Ron, K -Ron uh, discovered that many sakura trees have adapted to live under, sea, under the sea, interesting, and have miraculously continued to bloom with astonishing reg regularity. This discovery led to the annual uh, Hanami Festival, in which hundreds of boats bravely ventured out to the waters above, and once thriving, uh, above the once thriving country and share its spectacular feast that prominently features Hanami Dango. That is really interesting. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I want to add to the menu, but I also think I should practice it first, but whatever. It's it's already on the menu, so I can't take it back now. <laughs> no, I probably should have practiced first before I did it very well. Let's go with something different. Let's do churros. A fried uh, a fried dough pastry sprinkled in sugar and often delicious and often dipped in uh, champ purado, hot chocolate. D d oh my god. <laughs> Dolce de leche. <laughs> I feel like I can't read. Uh, or Cafe Con Lech, Lech, Lech. I don't know how to say it properly. I'll look up. I'll look this all up later and then laugh at myself because I can't read. Uh, churros are enjoyed worldwide and in many different forms. Traditionally made uh, as straight as a straight rod or shaped into a U or a circle. One uh, one of the more recent emerging trends in tourist lifestyles is to bend the dough into shapes. Uh, of a fist, oh, oh, I was fist. I thought it said fist. Of a first aid plus sign. Oh, okay. This allows the churro not only to be in awkwardly or thrown at vigorous, at a vig with a vigorous spin at an approaching enemy, but also to be held up high above one's head as a sign that you are mortally wounded and need and in need of a med, med bot. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not where I thought it was going. Uh, churros. Oh, I'd like to go the word to load. There we go. Okay, easy. That's fine with me. I probably actually have to do something afterwards when they cooked, but whatever. Uh, add to menu. Okay, now I can find something different in the... Yeah, that's very nice. Ooh, onigiri, yum. Um, pavlova sounds really delicious. <gasps> Ooh, tonkatsu, yum. Tonkatsu consists of deep fried pork cutlets served with uh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> rice and salad. Tonkatsu's creation 
is largely cre-、uh, credited to Japanese, mu- to Japanese music teacher Isa Shiji. While,、uh, while translating the iconic, iconic hymn Dies、uh, Ire from Latin to Japanese,、uh, Shiji realized that the 13th century Gregorian chant wasn't actually about the Day of the Wrath, as previously believed, but instead a recipe for the delicious, what? delicious pork dish. After translating another gig. Uh, other Gregorian chants, Shiji、uh, re- discovered dozens of other recipes. Shiji worked、uh, as a music teacher for many more years until he was fired for one day, arriving, arriving to work 10 minutes late. <laughs> to make ends meet, Shiji published his findings in a book which consisted of recipes and music theory. Interesting. How do I do this one? Tonkatsu.、Mm, so delicious. So, can I put it in a holding session as well? No, apparently not. Pork. Oh, that's literally it. Yep, and let me just see if there's anything after it. Delicious. Cook, serve, delicious. Okay, no, I had to have to do other things. Cucumber, lettuce, tomato. Cucumber, lettuce, tomato. Okay, I hope they all have cucumber, lettuce, tomato sometime. I bet, I bet oh, bro, they won't all have that, but I'll have to pay attention then. Purchase this one? Yes. Um, I want to try something, do, do something new every, every time. But I feel like that's probably a bit. <laughs> that's a bit, um. What's the word? What is the word? I, what? Why am I. Why can I not think of words today? Um. I'll think of it later. <laughs> Cookies, also known as biscuits in the UK, or bickies in Australia, <laughs> first appeared in、uh, the in 7th century Persia. Persia. When Persians wanted to,、uh, wanted to tip someone for proving exceptional,、uh, exceptional service. You gave, you gave people bickies?、Uh, they would offer a cookie as a token of their appreciation. The phrase, what do you want? What do you want? A cookie? Is a Persian, say, Persian saying used as a retort for when someone seeks a reward for an、um, unimpressive feat. Cookies are also famous for being delicious in their raw form, resulting in、uh, cookie dough being, being served in ice cream, flavored, flavored soda, and even in a giant bowl by itself. Dough brogus. Uh, cookie dough is, a, is among the most popular and has food trucks operating on every continent around the globe. <laughs> you want a biki? What I'll say?、Uh, no, it's not a holding session thing. Sugar. Okay, so it's just like that. And then oatmeal. Okay. I won't be able to remember every, all, all of them. Peanut butter, dark chocolate, chalk chip, and candy cake. Okay. I will try my best with cookies. Yes, add that to menu. And one more.、Um, lao lao. Special donuts. What's the pavlova? Pavlova、um, is a meringue dessert. I know what a pavlova is because I'm Australian, but I meant what is, the, how do I do the pavlova? <laughs> pavlova is a meringue dessert、uh, topped with whipped cream and typically garnished with strawberries and kiwi fruit in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, the pav is a Christmas staple, along with, with playing cricket in the backyard, swimming in the pool, and eating prawns that have been sitting in the sun for a little too long. <laughs> the, national, it's, the nationality of its creation remains contentious.、Um, New Zealand、uh, points to the fact that the recipe for pavlova cake appeared in the country in the late 1920s, while Australia points to the fact that, it's,、uh, that it is bigger and scarier than New Zealand and that it will come over there if New Zealand doesn't cut it out. Oh my gosh! I love it so much, that's so good. I think that there is supposed to be a wide debate that where Pavlova has come from, but I'm pretty sure in my mind I just think, oh yes, I'll give it to New Zealand. <laughs> no, I don't care too much. I, don't, I, don't, I know I'm Australian, but I don't care for Pavlova too much. Whip and fruit mix? Is that really it? Whip and fruit mix? Okay, cool. That sounds fun. Let's do that. To represent Australia. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's begin the day.、Uh, all the cash you earn in a day also counts towards yum. Uh, which stands for your universal mastery. Your, earning yum levels you up, which earns you a new,、uh, which earns you new parts for your food truck, earn new parts, earn parts to add and upgrade components of your, for your truck, such as more holding stations. The upgraded truck menu is unlocked once you reach yum level five.、All、okay. Right, Show me what you got. I got something. <laughs> I got gusto. Eight dango, five salpidi- six salpidilla, and four churro. Uh. Okay, don't go like that. Dunk, please. How many do I need to do again? More. <laughs> uh, why? I do. Oh, I have to do four, literally. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, because this is down the bottom. Uh, you want peanut butter cookies? I hope these. Go- how, 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 
how quickly do these go off? Okay, so I don't have to do anything with the dongar. Good. I didn't need to practice it at all. I really should pay attention and see how long far away we are, but it's okay. We get there pretty quick. <laughs> I said that last time, but I literally just don't think I just don't remember. Boot fruit mix. Uh, you need pomkatsu. Mm. Okay, go. That sounded like I didn't get a good. Oh, I have to. Ah, okay. Oh fuck! No, I stuffed it up. Ah, <laughs> no, no. Okay, I I underestimated my uh, I overestimated this my power. I overestimated my power. <laughs> I'm struggling. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Is it bad that I want to re- okay, I'm sorry. I'm restarting the freaking day. <laughs> I'm doing it. I don't care what everyone says. I need to get gold. <laughs> okay, now I get it. And uh, sopadillas. Sopapillas? Dark. I swear I'm pressing the buttons. I swear. Okay. Um, I need some more sopapillas as well. Wait, was that right? Yep. Tonkatsu. Oh, for fuck's sake, dunk. I swear the buttons, the buttons F me up. Merengue, merengue. Okay, I can do this. You just need to pay attention and not be a butt. What? Okay, I don't think it matters if, as long as I... Okay, it doesn't actually matter uh, which order I put it in. I'm just being a bit pedantic. As long as I put the thing in, right? Dunk. Send them out. Dungo. Ah, uh, you need that. You need that. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, I need more dungo. Ah! Honey. You. Um. Honey. Okay, cool. And some of the pillars. Oh, didn't mean to press on that one. Oh, okay. You were the best <laughs> I went so quiet, I had to hold my breath. Chalk chip is X. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get rid of all of this. We're almost there. Uh, I need some more silver pillars. I'm gonna make some more cheerios again. Alright, meal. Okay. Um, you, you. I should be fitting up, but I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, you need the dongle. Ah, uh, so I'll be less. Okay. I did it. Did I do it? Okay, there's one more. But I need a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay, do a bit of everything. I've already got five. Um, we'll wait. Wait, no, it's saying that I need that. What am I doing? I'm a dumb. I should be doing these. I'm too focused on the on the holding station. It's okay. Uh, dunk. So far, it seems like yeah, with the tonka to just just press all the buttons and it's okay. It'll survive. Ah, uh, it's ready. Ready. Uh, meringue. Get this one ready. Cool. Ah, uh, you need candy. Send. Send. Dango, send. Ah. Uh. Shit. Ah. Uh. Oh. Alright, I need to make some more. Dango, okay. Quickly. Okay. Do I need more? I need more. <laughs> Uh, silver pillars. I think I can get rid of my dongo actually. Oh shit, no, I didn't. I couldn't get my. Get, I couldn't get rid of my dongo. <laughs> what am I doing? Send, send, send. I'm sorry. Ah. Send, send. Wait, what am I doing? Shit. Can I do any more heroes? I think. Ah. No, no, no. Oh no, I'm sorry. 
Dang it, I was so close, I pressed on the wrong one. Okay, I need to play with the D-pad, not the analog stick. But I keep, my finger is more comfortable at the top rather than... Okay, I need to play with the D-pad, not the, not the analog stick, because that effed me up. Uh, cry. That's not good enough. <laughs> Should I just try this again? Okay, we'll just skip ahead to me getting gold. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, if you'd like to keep, if you'd like it. If you like that I keep reading the um, the descriptions for the food, then please let me know because I enjoy I'm actually enjoying reading them. But like you know, it adds to my video time. So if you want a shorter video, then I can stop doing that. Or, um, but if you like seeing seeing the the lore, the lore through the food, then um, you can let me know and I can keep reading them. Uh, and if you're new here and you'd like to see more content, you can subscribe. Hope to see you next time.